is up juggalos since 10 of 22 and you knew your motherfucking knew I was gonna say something about this you know the title all right you know what I'm gonna talk about everybody's been talking about it I let everybody's shit sink into my head so I could come at you with the real okay so this is the motherfucking real and I'm gonna break it down break it the fuck down for you okay all right um first and foremost I want to give a shout out to Carnival Spirits Fat Man Jersey Beastmaster and and the whole family Don Chaos everybody Panic you name it um Cali Cali Green Cali Cali um so first and foremost and the boy blue too even though he's not on Carnival Spirits give a shout out to him too CPN for doing the suicidalist videos shout out to you too um you know we all have, this is just before I get into the, the new might in the mirror, which everybody knows I'm going to talk about. Before I get into that, you know, we all have our own views and opinions on things, but the one common bond we share is, is we're all juggalos. You know, whether some of us might like Twisted more, some of us might like ICP more, some of us might not like this, some of us might not like that. Some, You know what I mean? When it comes down to it, we all enjoy this type of music. It's simple. Okay, so, you know, I think, you know, joining forces together, you know, all of us together, um, under one roof, if you will, which we are already, I mean, we're already the YouTube juggalo community, I mean, you know, that's what we are, we make up the bulk, you know, the names I just mentioned are the bulk, we are the bulk, you understand what I'm saying, we say it, and people listen, you know, if you're a juggalo, you're listening to us, you know what I'm saying, so it's just what it comes down to, um, that being said, much love to everybody, if I didn't mention you, you know, um, I'm sorry for not mentioning you, if I, if I did not mention you, just juggalo, I'm messing, mention you really quick, I know, um, you're out there, um, Scotty Two Balls, I have to mention you too, because you're, you know, old school juggalo representing, we've had our, Actually, we didn't have our differences, to be completely honest. I, I never had a problem with Scotty. I love Scotty, man. Even even though he misunderstood some of the shit I might have said. Or, we're going to get on a new nightmare, because that's what you motherfuckers want to hear about. So that's what we're going to talk about. First of all, I downloaded it when it was leaked. I was one of the first people to get it, with as, as with a bunch of other people. Um, I had it on a burn CD for the last three days or two days or something like that. It came in my mail today. I got two copies. This is the little this is the little thing that was glued to the front of the album so that you could take it with you so you could open it and have their autograph on a little picture you know okay and then it got the album which is right here I'm sorry it's in black and white y'all but that's just what it comes down to the CDs in my CD thing nothing special really there um, there was a sticker on the front right there it is I put it on the inside here I kept my other copy sealed um, there's the shit on the back and one thing I want to point out really quick and you know everybody probably already knows this and I post pictures on Juggalos online um, they announce a new album okay it says here um, the new full length album by Twisted the moment you've all been waiting for and there's like a curtain almost like um, you know, an Eminem encore it reminds me of, in a way, like an encore, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, encore, like an encore of Abominations, possibly, the first thing that ran through my mind, because, you know, Abominations did really good, okay, and Juggalos gave it nothing but love, um, there was not many Juggalos, I mean, like, the Juggalos who were like, uh, were very, very few, you know what I mean? And the same goes for this, too. You know, the, there, let's put it like this. There's more, there's more Juggalos that are like, eh, me fucking just new shit, you know, that type of thing. And it's it happens with every album. Dude, I swear to God, you know, ICP could come out with the third Joker card, and it could be, like, mirroring the Riddle Box. It could be as good. Let's not say mirroring it, but let's say it's as good as the Riddle Box. Like, it's just fucking fresh and all-around dope. And there would be some type of juggalo out there like, oh, I don't fucking know, man. They should have fucking stayed doing what they were. You know, it, it, no matter what you do, there's going to be somebody who don't like it. 
Okay, and I've I've come, you know, I, I'm guilty of this myself, especially with Bang Pow Boom and a Mighty Death Pop. Maybe not so much Bang Pow Boom, because I actually did a lot of videos promoting that and respecting it, and you know, and same thing with my Death Pop. Like, you know, I've always expressed that the only reason why I don't like the Mighty Death Pop is because it's not cohesive and doesn't remind me of a Joker card. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I mean, that's really the reason why. I don't like it as much as some other people do. It's not necessarily because of the music that's on it. It's not necessarily because of the the content. It's because the content seems mixed up. It doesn't feel like a Joker's card. That's my gripe. That is my only gripe. Um, you know, I'm not one of these juggalos. It's like ICP's falling off. They're you know they're horrible. The shit they're coming out with is terrible. I actually like the fact. I love when bands and groups do new things. You know, and try new things. But the thing that I'm going to talk about that. I'm sure, you know, Jers, and I'll try to maybe post some, some links down here to Jers' videos, because he's really on this shit, and I, I feel him, man. I mean, me and him, um, I think it was a night of the download release um, when it leaked. I think it was that night me and him were on Facebook, and we were chatting up, talking about, you know, how Twisted, we're kind of glad Twisted left Psychopathic, because if they would still be with Psychopathic, they just wouldn't have this energy, this this fire that they have. Um and that's exactly what it is, you know. They have this newfound fire. But I want everybody to notice something and understand something. That that Juggalos and this music needs a face, okay? Something you're not, maybe not comfortable with and maybe you can't accept it. But what I want to come out and say really quick, you might, you might be kind of pissed about it. If you're a big-time fan of ICP and you're a huge fan of Psychopathic, which I'm sure all of you are, as so am I, but see, I also realize that there's no way, okay, the public or the mainstream or even just like normal quote-unquote hip-hop heads are ever going to really warm up to Insane Clown Posse. It's never going to happen, okay? If it was going to happen, it would have happened by now. It's never going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that ICP won't ever do tracks with people who have some clout in the regular hip-hop world, because that very well could happen in the future. It's happened in the past. You know, Bone Thugs and Harmony, I mean, the list goes on and on. Three, six, mom, I mean, you name it. ICP's done shit with some pretty big people. But it seems like no matter how many times ICP does shit with big people, it doesn't really matter to the fans. It does not make a difference. None of those fans are converting over to Insane Clown Posse fans. I mean, maybe, don't get me wrong, maybe some of them are. But the bottom line is, is we need a spokesman. We need someone, we need a group or a person who's going to represent this wicked shit, not turn their back on it, but take us to where we belong. We need to be out in the spotlight. We need to represent our culture. We need to, you know, we need to be a part of society and be accepted in society because we are a part of society. Instead of walking down the mall and having people, ugh, you know, they'll walk down the mall and see you and be like, oh shit, yeah, Twisted's this shit, you know what I mean? Because Twisted hasn't developed that hate from everybody like ICP has. For some reason, and I don't know why, people judge ICP and they fucking, you know, they stomp on their names and they treat them, you know, they, I mean, it's, it's sad to me, it sucks, but I don't feel as if that's ever going to go away. I always said, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You might not have heard me say it, so let me let me spit it out really quick for you. I always said if there was anybody on Psychopathic who could really take this label when they were with Psychopathic to a new level, it would have been Twisted. Only because they have something that ICP don't. I don't know what it is. It's whether it's charisma, whether it's whether it's um, the drive, the the fire, the energy, the you know the lyrical skill which Jers has touched on. You know, there's something about them. There's this magic surrounding them. There's this glow of, like, hope and light around these guys. And, you know, for the people who are down-talking them, you know, and saying, oh, they sold out, this, that, and the other thing, don't you get it? You know, there's no such thing as selling out. You know what I mean? We're trying to hold a place in society. We're trying to make a mark in music. That's what Twist is trying to do. But they're trying to do it... At this is why it's not selling out, because they're doing it without switching up who they are. They kept the face paint. They're still rapping Wicked. Yes, some of these beats on A New Nightmare are a little more mainstream. And when I say mainstream, I kind of more or less mean underground hip-hop. Not necessarily mainstream hip-hop, more like underground hip-hop. And when it comes to underground hip-hop, underground hip-hop 
is mainstream. It's to the point where, you know, these underground independent artists are more popular than some of the, you know, on TV artists, you know, because real people who like real hip hop listen to real hip hop. I mean, it's not like your everyday hip hop fans being fooled into listening to trashy shit that's on the radio. Most people listen to underground shit, you know. Us as Juggalos take the underground for granted. We act like we're the only ones involved. Really, we're not. I mean, take fans of Jedi Mind Tricks. Take fans of, you know, there's numerous groups out there. Um, the Death Grips. Um, look up some of these groups, you know. Um, demigods. Um, I mean, they can name, name thousands of them that are, in their own sense, wicked. They do have you know, this type of, of rhyme flow, they talk about crazy shit, you know, that stuff has existed and always will exist in and outside of psychopathic records. A lot of people tend to think that psychopathic's the only people doing stuff or saying stuff like, like what they're doing, and, and really that's not true. Just so happens that they're really good at it and their fan base is humongous. So if you're caught inside of their fan base, which I have been in that position before where I was inside and I really wasn't branching out. Now, even though I came from Wu-Tang and Keith Murray and, and you know, Jers has said it before, East Coast hip-hop, man, that's what I grew up with. That's where I that's where I come from. You know, that gritty style of fucking rapping, not necessarily metaphors and shit like that, Mob Deep, Nas, Jay-Z back when he was Jay-Z and then now he's fucking gay-Z. But anyway, um, you know, real fucking hip-hop is... A, is is a beautiful fucking thing, and Twisted's taking real hip hop, mixing it with Wicked, mixing it with, you know, experimenting. Man, I have to say, um, I absolutely love all the hooks on this album. Nothing but water in my eye as I look up at the sky. That shit is so fucking dope. Like I don't know, man. It's 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 something that if it would have came out back in the '90s or something, people would have been like. You know what I mean? Like, if it would have came out in other time periods, people would have been in fucking all of it. And to be honest with you, if people didn't see Twisted and they closed their eyes and had no idea who Twisted was and heard this album, they would be like, who the fuck are these guys? These guys are fucking amazing. The only thing holding the mainstream back, and it's true, is the face paint, is the book, the cover of the book. People need to, and Twisted's working on this, and I know they have a plan to get people past that. And I have a feeling they're going to do it with music videos. They're going to do it with, with um, teaming up with people who are already have a foot in the door, if you will. You know, as long as you roll with people, certain people, other motherfuckers will open up to what you're doing. See, now for some reason, ICP just can't do that. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's like no matter what happens, they just can't. It's like they can't win over a certain part of the 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 demographic it's just like impossible and you know i personally wish they could but they can't and they're not going to be able to so we send out the minions twisted twisted's out there in the name of juggalos in the name of even icp they don't even realize it but they're out there in the name of icp because when they finally take shit over which they're going to do and they get you know a hand in there and they start getting respected People will loosen up sooner or later to ICP, but I honestly felt, and this is what I said from the gate, I honestly feel like Twisted is the poster child for what the wicked shit in horrorcore is. So having them on the front lines, and this is what motherfuckers who talk shit and say they sell out, blah, 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 need to understand. We need a front line team. We need somebody to be out there and be the face of us. You know what I mean? So when you say, oh, they want to do, you know, they want to get awards, they want to do commercials, they want to do TV, they want to fucking do all this stuff, we've asked them to do this stuff. You know, you go to the, what's that one, the one seminar, what was it, last year when, when Monoxide and Madrox were like throwing stuff up in the air, oh, we got this over here, let's, you know, and they were talking about all the things Juggalos wanted them to do. They are approaching all that. On Psychopathic, they could have never done any of it. You know what I mean? Do not down these guys. All right. If anything, talk them up. So, so if you don't like a track or two tracks, whatever, don't talk shit on it. Just say, okay, I don't like that that much. Hopefully, the new album's good. You know, I those comments are fine. But when people start trashing it, that's what really kind of pisses me off because these motherfuckers are there representing you. They're there representing your way of life. They're there representing the music you love. They're there for you. Don't you get that? 
Like, I mean, you know, if it wasn't for them, this shit may never have a chance to breach into the big, the big time where it needs to be because we deserve that. After all these years of struggling and fucking people disrespecting, spitting, and fucking talking shit, don't you want Twisted to walk up in the game, turn the fucking lights out, tie everybody up, and slit their fucking throats, then turn the lights back on? The only motherfuckers left standing is Twisted, talking about wicked shit, we run this shit, you know what I mean? That's what they need to do. That is Twisted, that's their style, that's what they're gonna do. I feel it from the depths of my soul, people. Don't you get it? Just think about it. I want you to close your eyes and envision every rapper you can imagine in the mainstream. Imagine them all standing in a, in a room, okay? And then imagine the lights blackening and it turns off. Now the lights flicker back on just for a second and you see like them struggling and struggling and struggling and they're getting like tied up with duct tape and shit and then the lights go off again. And then it lights go on again and you see like blood and you see like the flash of Twisted's face in the back of him, like doing shit, like tying him up and shit. And then you fucking, another flash will come and then, and then all of a sudden all the lights turn on and there's fucking dead bodies laying on the fucking floor and Twisted's just standing there like, Twisted. Like dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's the vision I have. Because they have the power to do that. Listen to anything in the mainstream going on right now. These motherfuckers could walk up in there and take everything representing us. We will be the ones on top for once. Because wouldn't it feel good to, instead of being the downtrodden, instead of being the fucking low life motherfuckers that they look at us and they make us feel like? You know what I mean? Wouldn't it be nice for once to fucking be on top? motherfuckers being like, oh shit, that shit is fucking fr you know what I mean, people being on your dick, well that's what's gonna happen, that's what Twisted's gonna do, so stop fucking hating, man, get behind these motherfuckers, because they deserve your fucking loyalty, they deserve it, I'm just saying, man, I'm testing you motherfucking 22, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the album, but, but, you know, that's my little rant, man, and for all you motherfuckers hating, just remember where, where, where they came from, remember all the shit that you've listened to by them, all the things that they've, you know, done and put into your heart and soul, and all the all the lyrics that you felt so much that that you know that literally fucking came right out of your soul. It's almost like you and them have like this connection. You know what I mean? Because they're speaking for you. You know what I mean? They're the voice of you. It's like they're channeling this fucking energy from us and fucking somehow putting it back on the wax and and just bringing it, man. And the only way Twisted knows how fucking wicked and demented, whether, I don't care what kind of beats they're rapping over or the hooks that they're using, man, that shit that they spit is fucking wicked as fuck. Every fucking track on this album has wicked influences in, in, in the lyrics and, and going out throughout the whole fucking record. So for people saying, like, this, that, and the other, I just don't see it. I, I personally, I don't know. I don't see it. So let's go over it really quick so we can get this this video over with and and, uh, and move on with our lives first tracks wake up wake me up it's it's basically you know I'm not gonna go over and let you know how it sounds because maybe you haven't heard it but wake me up is basically like an intro you know it's it's your run-of-the-mill twisted intro fucking it reminds me a little bit of like the intro for um, on the wicked album I'm trying to think what song it's before it's the intro, yeah, I think it's the intro for Wicked. It reminds me kind of like that, like when, like those fucking loud um, alarms and shit. Kind of like that, in a way, in in a vein, you know, um, down with us. A little up-tempo, a little quote-unquote mainstream beat, in a way. I mean, it still does have that undertone to it, that, it, you know what it almost reminds me of? The secret tracks on Wicked. Like those two secret tracks um, at the end that are a little more, you know, let's say again, quote unquote mainstream. It kind of reminds me of those in a way. Like they could have fit, they could have almost made a whole album with those two tracks, that track, whatever, whatever. But Down With Us lyrically is fucking insane. I mean, you've heard Jers talk about it, and if you haven't, you maybe go check it out. But. And I'm, I have to talk about it really quick because in Mono's... And I hate to skip over Madrox's verse because Madrox's verse is fucking fire too. I mean, literally the whole track is pretty fucking fresh. And if you're a juggalo and you're down with Twisted, you're going to feel this track. 
I mean, literally, if you're not down with Twisted, this is like the, the judgment point. You listen to that song and you don't like it, you're probably not down with Twisted as much as you may have thought you were. Um, and I don't think it has anything to do with, are they wicked enough? I'm getting so sick and tired of, of you know, they're not horrorcore. Get over it, people. They're not like, you know, these, these mediocre, bullshit, wannabe, horrorcore artists. These motherfuckers are the real deal wicked shit. You know what I mean? Like, these motherfuckers are on the, t the top tier when it comes to wicked. You know what I mean? You can have all your little petty, run-of-the-mill, bullshit, underground, hardcore artists spit a million fucking tracks, and not one of those tracks is going to hold up to Twisted. And that's just the fucking truth. So anyway, let's move on. Down with us. I was going to talk about Mono's verse and how he addresses psychopathic records subliminally. Um, not necessarily coming out and calling out names, not necessarily, you know, speaking, you know, verbally and saying psychopathic or saying Violent J or saying this and that. But what he says in, I believe it's the second verse, second, second verse, Mono's verse, um, you know, you have to listen to it for yourself, but it's definitely a straight shot at psychopathic and, um, you know... You judge for yourself. I mean, go check. They can, they can listen to it and tell me what you think. Me, personally, <coughs> I'm completely okay with it, you know, because it's obvious that Twisted has had problems with Psychopathic, that they most likely have been fucked over a little bit, and they deserve, and they have every fucking right to throw some shots in their direction, because they're not scared, and it shows that they got fucking nuts, man, because they're not scared. You think Twisted's going to be scared of anything Psychopathic can throw at them? Do you really think any single artist on that fucking label would even dare step to fucking Twisted and ruin their fucking reputation? Hell fucking no. They ain't going to say shit because none of those artists can compete with Twisted. Not fucking one of them. Now, that being said, you know, it's what it is. I don't think Twisted's going to carry this out. I don't think they're going to keep on you know, throwing punches, blah, blah, blah. I honestly think they're bigger than that. Then again, they might throw little things in here and there because a lot of it might be the fuel of the fire. You know, a lot of what they're doing may be to, you know, subliminally in their minds maybe, is to prove to Psychopathic, like, look, we're, we're better. We're, we're good enough to do this. We can do this better than you guys, basically. You know, we're good enough. And, you know, maybe for all we know, when they were at Psychopathic, Jay and other people might have said, no, you'll never make it. You'll never do anything without Psychopathic. You need us, blah, 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 shit like that. And I can almost imagine that happening. So this is Twisted's way of being like, no, motherfucker, we don't need you. We don't need you. You know what I mean? We care about this fan base. We give a shit about these motherfuckers listening to our music. It's not all about the money. It's about fucking, you know, repping this shit and fucking taking it to new heights and fucking experimenting and growing and fucking moving on. Not just staying in one spot, stamping a hatchet man and saying, here, buy my shit so I can go out and buy more fucking big cars or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, now I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not fucking putting anything out there. It's just, but the feeling you get after hearing a lot of the things that have been talking about lately, these are the th feelings that you get. And Twisted, they're not lying, okay? It's not like they they have any reason to come on a track and diss Psychopathic. The only reason they would have is if Psychopathic did some fucked up shit to them, which is obviously true. So let's just move on from that and get to the rest of the record. You guys can talk amongst yourselves and figure the fuck out what you think may be going on. We've speculated if you want to go back and check out my speculation videos, go the fuck ahead. Check out the Sasha interview. Oh, that's right. It was taken down. I forgot. Yeah. Anyway, Unjust Love. Now, this is a track that was released. Um, we've all heard it a million times. Probably my least favorite track on the album. But there's... The whole fucking track is about fucking... Is about basically, um, you know, like... Stalking a bitch. You know what I mean? Like... What can be more wicked than stalking a bitch? This shit is wicked, it's sick, it's demented, it's twisted. What the fuck? Okay, and then we go to the deep end, which is probably one of my favorite fucking tracks. Dope-ass fucking track. And again, it's got that wicked undertone, it's got that twisted fucking shit. You know what I mean? I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. This whole album has... I just... I 
don't get it. I don't. Looking at the tracks, okay, and I want to talk, you know, I'm not going to really talk about any of the other tracks. They're all great. Go get the album, listen to them. I want to talk one time quick about Monstrosity, just because they mentioned House of Crazies, and honestly, I feel like it might be foreshadowing a reunion album for House of the Crazies. Um, you know, Twisted, if you're listening, re-release House of Crazy shit on CD or vinyl, as well as your back catalog from Psychopathic, possibly the Green Book, Freak Show, Most Tasteless, Mutant, put those albums on vinyl. Limited presses, gatefolds, colored vinyl, whatever, splatter, fucking vinyl, do something. Limited, collector's editions, find some really good production company that does vinyl and fucking do it. Please, for the love of fucking God. I mean, really, dude, it would be the fucking shit anyway. Moving on, this album, if you haven't got it yet, go fucking get it. It's fucking dope. You know, I'm not going to sit here and compare it to anything. I'm not going to say it's their best. I'm not going to say it's because it's an EP. It's a middle ground holding you off until the new album comes out. It's them putting in work for you so you have something to listen to until their new album drops. That's it. End of story. Yes, they're experimenting a little bit. Yes, they're doing a little bit of different shit, but does that mean that they're going to come out with this next album and the whole album's going to sound like this? Probably not. You know, they're going to remain twisted. That's the one thing that I think some of you don't get. They left, but they left to represent this shit. They didn't leave to turn their backs on it. They left to take you with them. Don't you understand? And they're not going to disappoint you. So all you need to do is put your trust and faith in what they're doing, support them, and I promise you, you will be happy at the end. We will all stand united, family once again. All those broken pieces that have been shattered all over the fucking place for the last how many fucking years, Twitch is going to pick them up and put them all back together for us. All we need to do is follow along. And I'm sure y'all know how to do that by now, right? Okay, good. So let's go. Much motherfucking wicked, twisted clown love. Till next time, Test Dummy 22.